What's up guys, Escobin52 and welcome back to a, another video. I know it's been a long time, I know you guys have missed me, but guess what, I'm back, I've got a new rig, there's a light thing over there, it's blinding my eyes, it's making a glare on my glasses, and I've got an actual camera with a screen, so if I'm looking to the side, I'm looking at the camera. But yes guys, make sure that you like, you subscribe, you comment down below, and you just enjoy this video, because today we are going to have some absolute fun yes that's right we're gonna have some fun because i did and ask me anything just to get back into youtube and you guys delivered so without further ado let's roll that intro and let's get into it okay guys so let's get into your questions that you asked me on this ask me anything on instagram if you haven't already ah! If you haven't already, make sure that you check out my Instagram, which I will leave in the description box down below. So the first question comes from Ian Hall, who said, When did you realise you wanted to grow a beard and what style to go for? Well, Ian, I never realised I wanted to grow a beard. Um, well, I never actually chose to grow a beard. It sort of had just happened. And to be fair, and what style to go for? Mm, I kind of like, I used to have it this like really hobo-y beard going on. I keep looking at myself in the camera because I'm not used to this. But I used to have this big hobo-y beard going on. It was huge uh, and messy and now I just get the barber to just edge in my line and just make sure that everything is all right down there. I don't really have a choice, the beard just happened. I think it was about 22 when it started coming out. I know, late bloomer. The Cardin also has a beard related question. Beard game out of 10. Now, I do not know if this is James Kiernan asking me about my beard game or whether or not his beard game. My beard game, I definitely would say is a seven out of eight right now. Just looking at the camera, it does look pretty fresh. I've got a nice little line coming in here. The old moustache is coming out. It's looking all beautiful. So uh, I'll say I'll say probably an eight. We'll go for an eight on the beard game for that one. Designer playing cards, my boy Shish. I cannot pronounce your name. But yeah, man. What's your favourite celebrity with glasses? Um, that's a difficult question, mainly because I don't think I know a lot of celebrities with glasses. Uh, I'm probably gonna say Robert Downey Jr. Uh, when he has got the glasses on. Uh, who wears glasses? <laughs> Jesus fries, my man has said what lasts longer, the cards or the tuck case. Now for me, the cards last much much <laughs> for me the cards last much longer. Now I use cards every day, I'm always shuffling every day, I'm always playing around with them. However, I definitely think that the tuck case definitely gets destroyed for me as I always put it in my pocket, I always lob it in my bag, I carry a couple of decks around me, and at some point I know it doesn't I don't want it to happen, but the corners start getting frayed. I mean look at this Daniel Madison deck here. It's all torn and horrible. So, I think for me, if it's a really good deck like uh, the Meow Stars over here, I probably won't take them out. I'll leave them on the shelf. Same as the Ravens. I mean, my orbits have kind of gotten a little bit destroyed. I mean, if you look at the fifth editions here, they're all sort of like torn uh, and flat. So, I definitely think for me, it is the, the tuck case that definitely destroys and just gets crap. Elemental playing cards, who you might have seen, they've got a hydrogen deck out now on Kickstarter. I believe the campaign was successful and they're coming out. Said, what's your ideal smell to wake up to in the morning? Well, for me, my ideal smell would probably have to be coffee. I think if I was to wake up and there would be like a beautiful pot of coffee just brewing there for me, <sighs> that would be a really good smell to wake up to. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, Kia.Gomez.Magic responded saying, do you and Kia Gomez have any plans to collab on a video? Well, guess what guys? We might, <laughs> we might just have a video and yes, yes, we are definitely gonna collab. We are in the works when talking, so stick around, stay tuned for that. Definitely subscribe to him because he is amazing um, and he's, I'll leave his, his link in the description down below. But yes, yes. We will be collabing. It will be amazing. It will be insane. So make sure that you are sticking around for that and you've hit the notification button and you are subscribed. Last question comes from Lewis Taylor Hedges, who is um, a very close new friend of mine who's a twat. And he says, do you like your rim being licked? Well, Lewis, in the right circumstances, may you may <laughs> oh, I'm not going to answer that question on camera, mainly because I don't want to, uh, I don't, I, yeah, I don't want the general public to know what I get up to in the bedroom, but yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. Okay guys, um, so basically I've got a new camera rig set up. I've got the tripod, I've got the mic, I've got the camera, I've got the giant... 
Lie. Which means that we're going to be having some insane videos coming to you guys very soon. Now that I've got this all set up, hopefully it should be a breeze. It should be amazing to edit. It means I don't have to keep using Google Drive to upload stuff from my phone to my MacBook so that I can then edit it, which takes an immense amount of time considering that my internet is not broadband. But yeah guys, so if you have enjoyed this video and you want to stick around and see some cool stuff, make sure you subscribe, make sure that you like, make sure you comment down below, interact with me, I'm always available. And as well as that, definitely check out the description box below where I'll be leaving some Instagram handles for Keir um, and the Cardin and James Kiernan. And I will also leave um, YouTubes for the Cardin and for Keir down below because Keir is absolutely killing the game right now. And if you have not subscribed to him, definitely go ahead and do that. There you go, Kit. Hopefully that gives you a couple more subs. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. I'm going to edit this bad boy, um, and I'm also going to mess around with some cards. We've got some cool stuff coming up. Might do some reviews. Luke Wadey, I've got the monos. They're coming out. They're going to be on the grid. We're going to get that going on soon. It's going to look insane. So definitely look forward to that. And as always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and... Bye.